Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and if you guys know what this screen is, then I'm sure you guys know that my Glacial Hammer character has indeed died. Uh, don't ask why there's three of me on the screen, but what I want to do for you guys is I want to go ahead and play this clip, and I want to know if you guys can let me know what you think killed me, because I'm still actually a little bit puzzled. Half of this video is going to actually be trying to figure out what you guys think killed my character. So I'm gonna play it a couple of times and then I'm gonna explain the defenses that my character has. It's not a hard thing at all, it's a 73 map. It is uh, extra cold damage and there is a sub fizz mob. So my initial thought was that I got shotgunned by like a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the cannibals, and that's this is a, we're just gonna play with audio off right now. Um, my initial thought was I got shotgunned by the cannibals, but I don't really think that that's the case. And the reason why I say that is if you click this and you play it in 0 0.25 speed, you'll actually see exactly what went down. So. <clears throat> As I jump in midair, you can see that I do get hit by something for 600. Now this character has fortify, like not that much armor, like 4k armor, armor, or it doesn't really matter unless you're doing molten shell. Um, on top of that, I have soul of steel, so it's an extra 5% mitigation. I've got 77 fire res, 76 other res, and that's about it. You know, nothing crazy defensive. I also have a quartz flash, so 10% dodge and 10% spell dodge. But if you look... What happened is, is my character leap slammed, I hit the ground, which means that whatever killed me didn't kill me while I was leap slamming. And I know I hit the ground because I healed the full, which means my leech worked. And then the second I hit the ground, something, so either I got one shot by something, which would make sense because you only die at full life if you, if you're basically, if you get one shot. The other option is getting shotgunned by cannibals, but from my experience in playing Path of Exile and dying, Usually when you get shotgunned, it's a bunch of little hits happening at the same time, whether it's four hits, five hits, seven hits, because the thing is, is every mob is at a different spot and a lot of the mobs are attacking at a different like location. So shotgunning just doesn't really make too much sense. Um, you know, of course, the, I, I really can't think of anything else other than that because there wasn't anything too crazy. There was a red beast in the back there. Uh, but the red beast like didn't I don't even think it was an aggro range you can see it over there and then there is this monkey Let me see if I can highlight over the monkey, but we we tested out the monkey this guy Goldface tiger prey we got someone else in the map here to tank this monkey and it literally did no damage It was doing like 1 to 2k damage a hit um, It all also is important to note that this is not a powerful crits map and I'm playing a slayer um, and I have the node that says nearby enemies have minus 30 crit multi, which means whatever killed me literally auto attacked me. So the only conclusion I can come to is I died to white cannibals. But I really am not 100% sure. So usually when I die in a character, I like to make another character that kind of doesn't die the same way the other character did. Because, you know, it kind of sucks to die the same way two times in a row, right? Unfortunately, the only thing I can really learn from this situation, like, sure, of course, people are going to say I'm stupid because I, like, opened a white strong box and jumped back into it, but, like, the honest only conclusion I can really come to is, like, don't play name lock melee skills, right? Because if I played Cyclone, naturally, I would just Cyclone back through, right? There would be no reason to leap slam. I mean, sure, you could say with Glacial Hammer, you could hit this mob, but the thing is, is if you hit this mob, you're not going to clear the pack. So you'd have to hit the mob, walk in, hit this pack, walk in, hit this. Whereas with Leap Slam, I jump in, I have Ellie Prolif on my Leap Slam, so it freezes everything because of my uh, my Doriani's Catalyst, and you know, I'm like 70 crit chance. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what it comes down to, is kind of playing like a bit more like pseudo range style. So like Lacerate, Cyclone, Earthquake, um, you have like Blade Flurry, things that you don't have to actually name lock and like hold right click on to get. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think happened. Uh, the other thing is, I think this beast is extra fizz, and I think there was another beast with sub fizz, and those do stack, but still, like, I just, I don't know. It's really weird, only because, like I said, it shows as a direct one hit, and it doesn't show as, like, um, like, chunk, 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 chunk. 
Because I, I explained earlier with my champion build that the reason why I get adrenaline... Um, let me see if I can pull up adrenaline for you to explain. Adrenaline is this note on champion here. First to strike, last to fall, which says, recover 25% of maximum life when you gain adrenaline. Gain adrenaline when you reach low life. And I always explain that this note is not that bad if you're using it for defense because when you get shotgunned, when you get hit multiple times, um, that's when this has a chance to save you. You know, if you have decent mitigation, you get hit three times, one of them puts you to 27%, um, this would proc your adrenaline and heal you. But in an instance like this, it wouldn't even help. This is just something I was kind of curious about. I was curious what you guys thought too. Overall, personally, I'll give you my opinion. I really like the Glacial Hammer character. Um, we were looking at getting about 7,000 life with decent gear. I was still using pretty, like not very good gear. Um, I spent the last day, which was today, basically crafting his gear and getting him some better gear. I'll uh, even log in to show you like kind of what I did. I do feel that I would be able to freeze most content in the game. Uh, of course, the Legion mobs... Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Look at this. Legion monsters can now be frozen. Oh, so look at e even better time to play Glacial Hammer right now. They actually made it so you can freeze the Legion mobs. Um, I was going to say, uh, uh, the only thing I don't like about it is is pretty much the fact that it's a name lock skill and because it's a name lock skill you kind of just put yourself in a little bit more danger um, than skills that are ranged as an example right because if you play like earthquake you're gonna have probably the same if not more life because you're probably playing like pure fizz or something but you can be like a lot more ranged um, the trade-off with glacial hammer is that you freeze everything but in an instance like that it doesn't really matter because you just get you cap out you know Okay, so to log in and go to standard to show you the character, level 88, died in a yellow map, sniff sniff. Um, so, this is pretty much what I have on, not that, let me get the Dorianis back on. So, I still have the double Dorianis, I didn't end up changing any of that. Um, ended up getting these boots, pretty nice. Um, I ended up crafting this belt, which was pretty nice. Um, these are the same gloves I had from before, they're for the conversion. Garbage chest piece, it's only 87 life and 35 strength, doesn't really offer much. Um, I did end up crafting this helmet, which was pretty nice though, it's like a 90 life helmet with strength, with cold res and minus enemy cold res. And uh, the character was really feeling pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie, without investing into any jewels. You know, jewels you can get like crazy crit multi and stuff. Um, sitting in town right now, let's see if I do this, and hatred, and precision. And don't I usually have, there we go, blood and sand, blood and sand on. So it's just sitting still doing nothing, it's 215k. But if you remove Ancestral Call, it goes to 241k. And then if I were to be like in combat, because you know, for a boss, you're going to have your buffs on, which is pretty much what you need, because this damage is already more than enough to like, to clear red maps, like for sure, because I was doing some red maps. Even perma freeze the bosses. It's very nice. So like this, we're sitting at 400k, and that's without like all of our frenzies and no blood rage anymore since I removed blood rage because uh, I didn't really like the DJ. But no, I, I really like the Glacial Hammer character to be honest. For a name lock skill, of all the ones I've played so far, it's definitely been my most favorite. Um, I compare this to Infernal Blow a lot, and the reason why I compare it to Infernal Blow is Infernal Blow is basically the fire version of Glacial Hammer, but the problem with Infernal Blow is when you are going against a boss, because map clearing shouldn't be a problem with most skills these days. I mean, obviously it can't compete with a lot of the top tier skills, but uh, to explain this more in depth, because I know there was a couple of people who didn't understand when I said like Infernal Blow is not good for single target, the point I try to make is there's no point in using a fire skill for single target when you could use a cold skill or a lightning skill because fire does not give you any benefit for single target unless you are literally playing an ignite build in which case I don't really know people who play melee ignite builds. If you have enough damage with a cold skill you will freeze the boss which means they are unable to do anything. If you have enough damage with a lightning skill which technically you don't even need to because you can scale shock effect but it's a direct multiplier to your damage already. So Infernal Blow is basically more of a clear-oriented skill. However, it's not even better at destroying corpses than a free skill, because with a free skill, you have access to Herald of Ice, which will guarantee you pretty much shatter everything, whereas with Infernal Blow, you are not exploding every corpse, because you are hitting a pack, and then your Ancestral Call will mimic and hit that pack, but you're only really hitting half of the pack, 
and the explosion is what kills the other half of the pack. But because the explosion kills the other half of the pack, the other half of the pack does not lose their corpse because they didn't die under the debuff of Infernal Blow. It's a bit complicated. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's just to take like an extra precaution for hardcore. Um, same thing with like por porcupines is really the only time you would honestly like really notice it. Uh, anyway, though, enough with that character. So what I'm going to be doing next is I still have uh, these two characters in... Uh, where's Hardcore Legion? I still have the Berserker that I don't really know what I'm going to do with yet. And I still have the uh, the Cyclone Champion. But I just don't really want to play Cyclone anymore. I mean, I might go back to it. So I'm working on a meme character, which is not really a meme anymore. But uh, I definitely want to try out Bleed at one point in time just to say that I did. Because Bleed before this patch was really bad. You could do like okay clear with it if you use like hemophilia gloves, but we're gonna try like actually using bleed for single target. And uh, I don't know exactly what that entails on my gear that I'm gonna need, but I planned on taking this guy's axe since it has like a 500 top end. And I would imagine that like it'd be pretty good for bleeding. But again, I will have to look in to see exactly what I need for for like weapons for bleeding. Uh, I would also imagine a two-hander would be best since it's based off of the physical damage. Um, and uh, the reason why I want to play that character is we're going to use Lacerate. And I already tested it out with Lacerate. Um, let's see. This is a 12 Lacerate. Where's the other one? Oh, it's in here. There we go. So this is uh, very similar to what the AoE is going to look like on the new character. Now, of course, it will have the Bleed Explosion because I'll be a Gladiator. Um, and I have pretty much the same nodes. I just may not get Executioner. I haven't decided. Um, other than that, everything is pretty much the same. So this is kind of what it's going to look like, uh, basically, to use Lacerate, right? It would just be a one swing, like this. And that's pretty much how I would clear maps, is just one swing. And then when I get to the boss, we would toggle our stance to be in blood. Because when we're in blood stance, um, if you look at Lacerate, Lacerate in blood stance does 88% more damage in uh, with bleeding. But sand stance would make it so that we have a larger arc. It also means we don't have to do the double hit, most likely, which is nice. If I can just make it so I only have to single swipe like this, and then, you know, like on rares, I'll probably have to double or triple swipe. I think that will feel kind of nice, to be honest with you, clear. Uh, and if I don't like this character, I will probably make a ground slammer. Um, and that would be another pure fizz slayer max AoE ground slammer, because it looks really fun. It looks like a really big, meaty hit on bosses that you do, which is really nice. Uh, but that's pretty much about it for the PoE content. Uh, towards the end of this video, I wanted to talk about another game. Oh god, my hair is completely tangled in my headset. Oh, okay, there we go. I wanted to talk about another game um, that I played a little bit on stream before. It's a game I really like. I'm not super good at it. I'm okay at it. But it is called They Are Billions. Um, they Are Billions is basically a tower defense. Um, we call it real time, but it has active pausing, but it's a very intense uh, tower defense where you're basically surrounded by zombies. Um, there's a day counter. You set the amount of days you try to survive. Your goal is to clear the whole map. Whatever you don't clear attacks you on the last day. Uh, it is finally released out of beta slash early access and is now entering, um, well, basically release. On release, they have released a campaign. So they have 48 missions with over 60 hours of gameplay. Um, and they have like some more, uh, rather than just survival, there's like, I, I guess like more like Command and Conquer and some other stuff. I think you can even customize your, your like, uh, your squad in some type of way. This right here. Make your colonies evolve with more than 90 available technologies. I don't know exactly what this means. I don't know if this has to do with like your mayor choice, because that's how it was before. But now it says, explore the ancient human fortress with your hero. And this is an update that I waited for since the release of their billions. They teased that there was going to be a hero update, but I never it never came out. And now it's finally here. And the reason why I like heroes a lot in RTS games is I never played too much RTS growing up, except for one game, and I'm sure a couple of you know what it is. Warcraft 3, and Warcraft, Reign of Chaos, and Frozen Throne. And those are very hero-dependent um, RTS games, at least the way I played them. So I really like playing an RTS when I have a hero uh, kind of involved as well. It just makes it a lot more fun for me. I'm not sure what it really is, but it adds to it. But their building is cool because it has like veteran status on units as well. So when your unit kills enough monsters, it receives veteran status, and then it basically gets two times stats. Uh, but that's pretty much about it. I uh, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. There'll be some more PoE content to come, so don't you worry, boys. I don't know how much there are billions content I'm going to produce because uh, 
this game, this is a type of game that requires some type of editing, so we'll see how that is going to go. But for now, I'm out. Take care. Have a wonderful time. See you boys all tomorrow.